Hi, welcome to section 2 Data Wrangling Minjing and Pandas. In this section, we'll learn concept of data wrangling Munjing and Pandas data structure, combining and merging data sets, pivoting, advanced indexing on data sets, data transformation on data sets, string manipulation on data sets, working with missing data sets. This video is on concept of data wrangling and Munjing and Pandas data structure. In this video, we are going to take a look at concept of data wrangling and munging, to understand Pandas data structure, to understand what are the function used for data wrangling and munging, to understand how data wrangling munging is performed. So the approach for data wrangling and munging, there are four steps involved. Step one, we explain you the concept of data wrangling and munging. Step two, we explain you Pandas data structure. Step three, we explain you functions used for data wrangling and munging. Step four, we show you how to use data wrangling and munging using Pandas. So what is data wrangling and munging? The data wrangling and munging is related to raw data or the messy data. So it's basically a process of capturing raw data, cleaning it, and transforming it, and making it usable for IT. So why do we need data wrangling and munging? We need data wrangling and munging to make it usable for computation so that IT can leverage the data. What kind of error we see in the data? We see transcription error, invalid data, incomplete data, encoding error, inaccurate data, prediction error. So what are the tools available for data wrangling and munging? We have two tools, Excel and Pandas. Here we are opting for Pandas. Why? Because it's an open source library that provides high performance, easy to use data structure and data analysis tool. Now we'll talk something about Pandas data structure. We have three data objects. One, we have series. Second, we have data frame. Third, we have index objects. So what is series? Series, it's a fixed length, one dimensional array, which contains data and level. Data frame is like a spreadsheet, which contains the data set in rows and columns. Index object are responsible for holding the label and other metadata. Before going to Python code editor, we want to understand what are the execution steps. So here we are going to talk about the execution step. Before talking about execution step, we would like to consider one use case to understand the data wrangling or the Munjin concept. So the use case is that we will identify the missing data set from the input file and then we will drop that missing data set. So there are four steps involved. First, we import pandas library by using import pandas as pd. Then second, we read input file from the CSV file from the desktop or the local directory. And then we use isnull.ne to get the missing values where df is a data frame. And then we are using drop na to drop the missing values where dfax is a data frame. So now we'll go to Python code editor and I'll explain you first the pandas data structure and then I'll show you how to find out the missing values from the data set and how to drop the missing values so that you can understand the concept of data wrangling and munging. So let us go to Python code editor. So here first I'm going to explain the concept of pandas data structure. The first I'm going to talk on series. In this, I'm importing pandas as pd. Then I'm declaring s equal to pd.series list and then we are declaring the data set. So let us take an example of speed. So when I execute this series by using cell and run cells, so the output displayed is different data with a label. Then to declare the data frame, what I'm doing is first I'm importing numpy as pi and then I'm taking pandas as pd. 
I'm declaring the data here and you can see I have CT, Illinois, Texas, California and Minneapolis and then we have income and we have distance and I execute it by declaring it as a frame then the output data is shown here. Similarly for index object what I'm doing is I'm declaring S1 and I'm declaring it as a series where it has the range and it also has the data set. So the label and the data is displayed here. Now I'm moving to the second use case where I'm going to explain you how to get the input file from the desktop or the local directory and how to display it as a data frame, then how to find out the missing values of the data frame and then how to drop that missing value. So first, if you see, I'm importing pandas as a PD and then I am declaring data frame dfpx and I'm using a function read underscore csv to read the input csv file from my local directory or the desktop and then I'm declaring data frame. When I'm declaring data frame or executing it, my data frame is shown like this. Now here in this data frame, I need to identify what is my missing value set. So for that, I'm using ps.isnull and then data frame put in that and then dot any. When I use it, you can see the data values are shown here with false and true. False means it does not contain any missing data. But when it becomes true, it means that column has the missing data. So here expenses column has the missing data which is shown as NAN. Now I want to drop this missing value. So I use a data frame dot drop any and here you can see I am able to display rest of the five data and I am able to remove the missing value which was the sixth row. So this is how we do the data transformation and it is very well explaining the concept of data wrangling and moving. So why this is important? This is important to understand data wrangling, munging and pandas data structure. In this video, we have seen the following things. What is data wrangling and munging as a concept? What is pandas data structure and how to use data wrangling and munging using pandas?